Welcome everyone. I'm Associate Professor Jane Fitzpatrick and I will be guiding you through the evidence for injection techniques of the knee today. By way of background, I'm a specialist sport and exercise physician from Australia with over 35 years of clinical experience in musculoskeletal practice. I have a CCPU certification for ultrasound and have performed more than 10,000 injections, both guided and unguided, throughout my career. As clinicians, our goal is to ensure that the medication we are injecting reaches the desired location. Today, we will explore portal options to determine which ones provide the greatest accuracy. We will cover patient positioning and discover what the evidence suggests regarding needle position accuracy, both landmark guided and using ultrasound guidance. Many of our clinical experiences are determined by our own past experience. For example, many of my orthopaedic colleagues will gravitate towards the inferior, medial or lateral patella portals as they have familiarity with these from their use in arthroscopic surgery. You can inject at the joint line, which seems intuitive, or you can inject mid or superior to the patella. All of these will give you access to the knee joint. Similarly, the patient position will often be what is familiar. If we think of arthroscopy positioning, the patient is sitting and has the knee flexed, and then one has the access to the inferior portals. This can be challenging though, if the patient is anxious or indeed if they faint. With this in mind, many physicians and surgeons will choose to use the mid or superior patella portals, which allow for the patient to remain relaxed, lying supine on the bed with the knee extended or slightly flexed as they are comfortable. Putting aside our own personal preferences for a moment, let's take a look at the accuracy of the different approaches. The study of Asenil et al. compared landmark guided injections in knees of fresh cadavers. They found the medial portals tend to be less accurate, with less than 73% of injections actually making it into the knee. Of the lateral portals that they assessed, and noting they did not assess the suprolateral portal, the anterolateral was the most accurate at 85%. Somewhere up to 44% of injections did not reach their target. And of those that did, some went into the meniscus, the ACL, and 10 into Hoffa's fat pad. Interestingly, a further study by D'Alessandro et al, which included the additional supralateral portal, found that the supralateral portal gave accuracy of 95.7% compared to the anterolateral portal at only 69%. A systematic review further confirmed these figures, also finding the greatest accuracy was when using the supralateral portal, with a pooled accuracy of 91%. Thus, for blinded or landmark injections, the literature is very clear that the supralateral portal should be the clinician's approach of choice with the highest accuracy. Nevertheless, this still results in some 10% of injections being extra-articular needle placements. I often hear clinicians say that all of their injections are accurate, but this evidence would seem to indicate we are not as good as we think. So, since we are aiming for 100% accuracy, can we improve injection accuracy by using ultrasound guidance? Similar to landmark guided findings, a study by Park et al found medial portals to be less accurate, even with ultrasound guidance. Whilst the mid and lateral portals were over 90% accurate, only the suprolateral portal gave 100% accuracy when using ultrasound guidance and was not impacted by the grade of osteoarthritis. Further, a meta-analysis of 23 studies showed ultrasound improved accuracy at all portals. Again, lateral portals were superior, with the supralateral portal giving 100% accuracy with the addition of ultrasound guidance. 
But how important is this? Does injection accuracy actually lead to better outcomes for our patients? Interestingly, a study by Sheth et al. in 37 patients showed improved clinical outcomes for VAS pain scores, patient satisfaction, quality of life, Coos pain and function scores with the ultrasound guided supralateral approach. In a large study of 1,147 patients, there were significantly fewer patients in the ultrasound guided hyaluronic acid injection group who went on to have knee arthroplasty surgery. This impact was more significant in the obese group and patients were more likely to have a repeat HA injection if their initial one was ultrasound guided, indicating significantly better clinical responses. So in summary, the take home messages for us as clinicians from this evidence review is that the suprolateral portal is definitely the best approach to use in clinical practice. The patient can be in a relaxed supine position for this approach. The choice of needle should be of sufficient gauge to allow the flow of product being injected and of adequate length, particularly in the more obese patients. It is clear that accuracy can be improved to 100% with ultrasound guidance, so I would encourage all clinicians to consider upskilling in this area. Finally, there should be no resistance felt by the injecting clinician when needle placement is intraarticular, leading to a patient who is comfortable whilst having the procedure. A happy patient, a happy clinician, and smiles all round. Thank you for sharing this literature review with me today. I hope you can take these learnings into your everyday practice for the benefit of your patients. Thank you.